What's up everyone? Welcome to Aquashella. This is the world's largest aquarium event. This is also my clownfish's first time at the event. Are you guys ready and excited to meet your fans? They've seen you guys in the videos, now they get to actually meet you in person. Guys, no, that's not why we do this. Real fans, I'm talking like people. I'm gonna take you guys home if you don't control what you say, okay? Mr. Stingray, what do you think of Aquashella? Dude, look at this. Look how playful he is. Look at this. How much are they normally? Those two go for a thousand each. These could go home with you. Okay, so this actually has to be one of the coolest animals that's ever been at an Aquashella. This is a black dragon, and her name is Augie. A black dragon? Oh my. I have like so chills. Just, okay. He's gonna climb right on your head? Okay. I can feel his claws. Like, he's got a really good grasp on me. It's like a velociraptor. Okay, tell me about the black dragon, because that's something I wish was my nickname. A highly carnivorous creature, eating everything from aquatic life, so fish, amphibians, other reptiles, mammals, birds, really opportunistic Hold creatures. On. I'm a mammal. Again, but you're too large. This place is full of aquariums, full of fish, but then there's a few of these reptiles, and it just adds to this whole experience. Oh, that's a pretty snake. Whoa, dude, it's got human blue eyes. Yeah. I was gonna shake your hand, yes, but- Yes, but we've got a corn snake here. Do you wanna hold it? Dude, yes, please. Wow, this is such a cool snake. It's like my collar's in orange and white. Uh, it kind of looks like a koi, just the speculation of the animal. All right, so you guys, word on the street is you guys have a anaconda. We do have an anaconda. All sorts of freshwater fish. Whoa, right. dude, who it is this guy? Albino arowana. He is cool, how much is he? I got him for 380, but it goes for more too. Fly river trader on a fire eel. They actually get pretty big, like about maybe like four feet plus. It's a baby size, you know? <laughs> what are you shopping for? I'm shopping for a shark, possibly. A shark? Yeah, freshwater. Do you have a tank big enough for a shark? Yeah, I have a 55 gallon. Wow. All right, well, good luck. Thanks. Dude, you guys have everything in this booth. Yeah, yeah, we do. Dude, I love that arowana. What are you guys, what are you looking for? Wood. Wood? Lots of wood. I don't even know how you would go about choosing a piece of wood. Look at this, all of this driftwood. You got big pieces, small pieces. Sir, sir, what, what are you shopping for? Wood. Wood? Yeah. It's just wood, though. What's your point? Are you freshwater or saltwater? Well, saltwater because of you. When you were in your dorms. Do you see my clownfish? No, I haven't. My clownfish from my dorm room right oh, here. I gotta see that. They're over in my booth. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's them. That's Scarlett Johansson and Sean White. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. I've been watching you forever. What's your name? Robbie. Where are you from? Westfield, Indiana. You drive all the way from Indiana? Yep. You're gonna get some clowns? Yep. Which ones are you interested in? I'm probably getting some of the long fins. Dude, these is a pretty good deal on long fins. It's really good. All right, so you'll notice that this whole half of the convention center is darkly lit, and that's because it's the coral area. How much do you think you spent here today? I lost count. Dude, he just keeps pulling out the coral. One of the most popular kind is like the Colorado Sunburst Anemone. It's like a sought after strain. It's super bright. They have one that is now encrusting over the Aquashella logo. Send me some photos. It's not ready yet. I mean, it's like, you know, you don't want to take a picture of the bride before she's like ready, dude. Come on now. All right. Fair enough. A train representing Tank It Easy in the Frag Off competition. You went home with the gold. You won. So well deserved. How does that make you feel? It made me feel pretty good. I've made lots and lots of frags through the years, so it was fun to get up on stage and do it in front of a crowd. We're here with Nick from Gingerbread Tropical Fishing Coral. Where's your brother? He's not here right now. Why? Well, after the, the tequila shots came out, like, Chris was having a good time. In fact, I saw your brother I, I passing think, out the sombreros. I think he was the one passing them all out. But it's okay. It happens to the best of us. What are you shopping for today? Bugatti Chalice. Bugatti Chalice? It is. What makes it so special? Why do you want it? It's pretty. How much does pretty cost? 100 bucks. Okay. Do you want him to spend 100 bucks on that Bugatti, pretty Bugatti Chalice? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Decision made. Decision made. Yep. How much money have you spent today on coral? Probably way too much. <laughs> I would say. Are you on board with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did spend it too. No, for oh, wow. Me. So you're both into that. We both got tanks. Burning baby. Yeah. It's been ridiculous. That's cool. Yeah, well, cool. 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 Look at this plan. What do you think of everything that going on? I think we should stick to fish. The snakes going around, scaring me. So this is a green anaconda. We're here with Will from Custom Aquariums. It seems like every show you just bring some new crazy reptile <laughs> to me. Oh, the heaviest snake in the world too. She does weigh about 80 pounds. All right, face the camera. Okay. Oh, wow. She Oh wow, that is a heavy snake. Oh my goodness. Dude, look how thick this tail is. Having a thick tail is an indication that it's gonna it's get gonna really get big. Really big. Oh, yeah. And the underside, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> as you're putting it's it on. coming at my neck. Oh my god, dude. You guys are I don't like it. I want to take what's it our, What's our safety word? We're here with Ken from saltwateraquarium.com. He's our platinum sponsor of the event. Chicago, it's amazing. This is the most people I've ever seen. This is the biggest, baddest show ever. Can't wait to see what it looks like five years from now. And one of the greatest moments of the show is a little kid came up to that two-gallon shrimp tank over there and he said, this is my dream tank. So I said, is that really your dream tank? I'm sending one home with you. That's, so. what, That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We're here in the Aqua Crib. This is the art installation that we set up at the entrance of the event. Look at all the jellyfish tanks. Sponsored by Kemi Pure. They are our silver sponsor of the event. We got the Aquashello logo in this massive aquarium filled with hundreds of different kinds of premium clownfish. Super cool. What do you think of the event? It was really, really nice. I had a really good time. I got a crayfish. You got a crayfish? Yeah, I had one and he died last week, but I was like, I know I was coming to the event, so I got this little dude. Whoa. You should name him. It could be Georgette, like Smurfette but Georgette. I think that's cute. He's really cute. I watch your channel. What'd you guys buy today? Uh, I got some shrimp. Where are you guys from today? Naperville. Naper Thrill. Naper Thrill, you know it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got a question. When you were in the Amazon, what happened to the fish? Unfortunately, that fish is just still in the Amazon. We know where it is, but someone has to get the fish and say, I want to breed it. I want to turn this into the next big aquarium fish, and then it'll happen. It's such a shame because I, I really like that. Like, I've never seen such a beautiful, like, blue color. It's one of my favorite videos that you've made, honestly. What do you want to say to Heiko Blair? I mean, you've really changed, like, the industry, man. Thank you. Heiko, you got fans here. You got to make it out to an aquashella. So this is 24K goldfish. Their entire booth is all different types of fancy goldfish. Yes, the beautiful ones. That is the coolest goldfish I've ever seen. We call it brain. So you have a beauty and the brain at the same time and the uh, fish. How much does that cost? $200. $200? Yes. For a goldfish? For a goldfish, yes. Yeah, whoa, he is so cool. You got some pretty fancy shoes goldfish, for, for yeah. fancy goldfish. But where are you from? I'm from Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah, wow. We're here at the flower horn contest and they're all competing. Who is the best flower horn in here? Well, based on body structure, pearls, color, and their attitude and everything. Who won? Ray won grand champion. Which is your fish? What made this fish grand champion? Overall, it's the pearls. One of the really thing that decided it was the actual tail fin and how the colors and pearls and everything came to the back of that fin. This guy is so aggressive. How much could this sell for now that it's won? That one probably sell for, I'm gonna say close to 1500 and up. Wow. So Ray, you just won the flower horn competition here at Aqua Shallow, the grand champion. What are you gonna do next? A water change, right? <laughs> Most people go to Disneyland. Ray's doing a water change. Yeah. Cool. This is the Owase booth. They always have some of the best aquascaped aquariums in here with some of the best aquascapers in the world. This one has these really cool fish that are like turquoise with little red bottom fins. So which one of these is your favorite? This one's awesome. There's a, there's a waterfall. Look at that. This one has a forest growing in the sky. Come on. It doesn't get better. What are you guys buying today? My first shrimp ever. I just won one of those tanks that you bid on. Is it weird like buying shrimp from a shrimp? Yeah. A little bit. We'll make it work. Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> Wait, hold on, you have a medal. I do, yeah, I did the escape off earlier. Aquascaping at this event. Community and enrichment. I just feel like having it in my life, it's just it's a special feeling. We're here with Hip. He is an amazing aquascaper. And this is the Ultim Nature Systems booth. We wanted to kind of also show off the atomizer. It's got this nice- I love those. Effect. Yeah, they're super popular. I love it too. Very and, zen. Yeah. What up, fish tank people? I took yeah. your advice that you gave me and it actually ended up being really, really good. What advice did I give you? You told me to have fun. Ah, that part. That's a key component. We're doing good. We're having a good time. That's what's up. Thanks for letting me speak, dude. That was the most fun I've had in forever. This is the Fluval aquascaping competition. This is a professional aquascaping competition, so you can see some absolutely insanely scaped fish tanks here. All right, so this is the first place winner. We got to find out who scaped this tank. This is probably more betas than I've ever seen in my entire lifetime in one tank. All right, so right here, we have a massive crayfish-only aquarium. So this is insane. People have clearly bought so many crayfish this weekend because there's not that many left. We're here in the super BD stingray.com booth. And look how many different kinds of stingrays they got. They are the only fish I liked 
because like they different you know like they swim on the bottom that's what i stick with the you know stingray and not nothing else how much do each of these cost 2500 2500 like somewhere like that but this one myself i paid 10,000 for her Wow, $10,000 stingray. They're beautiful, dude. I love your stingrays. Tokyo Koi Farm. These guys have actually brought high-end Japanese koi to the show. Oh, George, my name's Hao. Hao? Yeah. Hao? Hao. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. So these are all Japanese koi. Yeah, that's all Japanese koi. Come with like a, a certificate. It yeah. comes with a certificate. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing like a bunch of Kohaku. I'm seeing some Jinrin. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some Showa, some Tancho. You got a lot of different varieties here. What's the nicest koi you have? That's only one year old. That's almost a 17 inch already. Wow. Okay, so this is the biggest fish you have here. Yeah, for right now. That's a three years old. This one is very good. They will keep growing very huge. And you got a bunch of little baby yeah. koi in here. Cool, it's a good selection. Thank you, thank you. You rocked it. Thank you. All right, so right now we're here at the Aquashella Charity Raffle. All the manufacturers, all the vendors at the event donate prizes, and all of that money goes to charity and different organizations. Well, this is Sherith. He organizes the raffle. At least ten, maybe twelve thousand dollars. Dude, Sherith is crushing it. Yep. So who are we donating our money to this uh, time? It's the Thousand Mermaids Ocean Rescue Alliance group, and they regrow reef structures. You're That's making a difference. It. This is. I love look it. at this. This is unreal. You guys are fish guys. Yes, yes. Freshwater, saltwater. Freshwater, saltwater. Could you be saltwater? I would love to give it a go. Absolutely. We're back with little Joe. How you been, man? Where you been? What you been doing? Nothing. Well, nothing's changed. I really like your shoes. Tell me about what's going on. Well, they're bass, and I grew up at the lake house, so I had to have some bass on my feet. So it's cool if we show your feet. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. I got a petty just in case. We're here with master aquascaper George Farmer. I asked George to scape one of my aquarium kits as a freshwater scape. Um, you gave me 30 seconds to create an aquascape with four pieces of material. It's very challenging, but we did a good job. What does it mean? Is there a deeper meaning behind this scape? Oh yeah, absolutely. This is a nature aquarium, so what we're doing, we're using elements of nature from outside, bring them into the aquarium space, and this enables us to more deeply connect with nature. It's beautiful. Thank you. Nature is beautiful. I wanted to showcase to people that they can actually set up my aquarium kit as a freshwater tank. I really like it. It's acrylic, so it's super clear, very light and very strong. It's everything you need to get your aquascape going. When are you going to send me one? When I come to the UK, I will bring you a tank. And then we should do a video setting up together and I can train you. That sounds perfect. You know, you scaped the pressure water one. And did you know Jake Adams scaped the salt really? water one? That's cool. That's good credibility right there. Literally the best of freshwater and salt water scaping. Hey, we're here with Jake Adams from Reef Builders. So Jake helped scape the salt water version of my aquarium kit. This is the first time it's ever been on display for people. What do you think? Nice to see that compact little setup. I'm also a huge fan of goosenecks. Well, look at this. You can swing it on and off too. So. This is the best solution for positioning that light where you want over the tank. This is how I'm setting it up. Ah. This is absolutely what I do. Really? I'm setting it up right here. Then you can kind of tilt it back. Now it's really pointing at the face of the corals and off of the glass. This is why you're here. <laughs> this is how I'm setting it up. This is why you're here. I'll send you one. Okay, I'll try it out. All right, deal. Hey guys, taking a quick break from the video. As many of you know, uh, Jake actually passed away shortly after this event and after the filming of this video. Jake is someone that I really admired and always looked up to both as a friend and professionally. He was also someone who always supported the Aquashella event. He spoke at so many of our events. He was a judge and a huge part of the Fragos competition, which we largely created because of his enthusiasm for coral propagation. And we're gonna be holding a tribute for Jake at our next event, which is one month from now in Dallas, Texas on May 20th and 21st of 2023. If you can be there, we would love to have you to help remember the life of Jake Adams. And if you can't, I'm gonna leave a link down below to a GoFundMe, which so many people have been a part of raising a ton of money for his wife, Windsor, and his family. I donated and I encourage you if you knew Jake or if he was someone that offered you a lot of value in reef keeping over the years that you donate as well. The clip you just saw was the last time that I saw Jake. It's crazy. You never know when the last time, you know, you're gonna talk to someone is. Jake, I miss you, dude, we all do. All right guys, now back to the video. All right, so Aquashell has actually gotten so big that it takes just a second to get everyone in the buildings. What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Where are you from? Uh, Skokie. 
You're from Skokie. Yeah. From down the street. Good spot, yeah. You're about to get in. And it goes really far back. I don't know if you've seen the line. Dude, the line's nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> what is going on? The first 500 people that get in get a swag bag. Yep, and these are the last ones. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. We just made it. This is the biggest Aquashella yet. Oh my gosh. This is the rush that happens in the morning of the event where we just have to check everyone in, get your wristbands. It all happens relatively quickly. This is madness. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you excited? Very. You guys? Ray? Ray? Hey, do you want to hear about his fish yeah. things? Are oh, you freshwater or saltwater? Oh, Fresh freshwater. I have two African cichlids, one community tank of angels and, and some mollies, and then my grow out tank. So you get the babies, you grow them out to be big fish. What just happened to you? Oh, I can't take this to the car. I just bought a bunch of awesome driftwood from Aquashella. Dude, we just opened. The deals are here, the selection's here. Now you're taking this car, you're gonna come back and get more? Yeah, I'm gonna find some fish next. Oh, God, yeah. Amazing, I mean. Are you guys ready for Aquashella? Absolutely. Are you ready, dude? Yeah. Is this your first one? Yeah. You guys have aquariums yet or not yet? Not yet. He has a tarantula. Yeah, what's your tarantula's name, Henry? Mr. Mr. Skinny Leg. Hopefully he finds a Mr. Fishy today. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from and are you freshwater or saltwater? Uh, Georgia and freshwater. You flew all the way from Georgia? Mm -hmm. Explain this. How did you convince yeah. her to do this? Early birthday gift. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Happy birthday. You're not leaving though, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. You're leaving? Yeah. Try. Enjoy your new piece of wood. Thanks, bud. Bye. All right, so on stage right now, Mike Sensky is giving an aquascaping tutorial. This is like an amazing professional aquascaper in our industry. And look at the crowd that is just here to absorb the education going on this stage. How cool is that? Hey, we're here with Diverman and Lifeguard. Tell me about your guys' costumes. What's going on? Yeah, you know, I, I try and make sure that he's safe while he's on the surface world. Have you saved anybody today? Only a couple people, but it was from themselves. There were a couple too many donuts over at the YouTube booth. There's a little too much plastic in these oceans. Pick up your trash from the beach. Continue getting the pollution out of the ocean so that we can all enjoy the ocean. I'm so stoked to have you guys here. Diver man and lifeguard, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like, honestly, like you just get to know all the people. And so like everybody's a friend. Everybody's like here for the same reason, which is so cool. Like you couldn't you couldn't ask for anything better. This is Jamie from Aquarium Info. You built this fish bridge. We built this fish bridge originally two years ago out of glass. And then we actually have begun manufacturing them out of acrylic. Have any fish made it over the bridge? Mr. Beta, go through the fish tunnel. Can you do it? He's looking at it. Oh my God, he just went over oh for the video. God. What'd you guys think about? This is your first Aquashella. What are you talking about? No. I mean, he is, but bro, are you serious right now? You guys really turn into freshwater scrubs? Our next event is coming up quick, Dallas, Texas, May 20th and 21st. You can come meet me. I'm gonna have my own booth with a limited supply of my aquarium kits for sale, as well as some merch and premium clownfish. These events are a lot of fun. Getting to meet so many other people who love aquariums and fish. I'll post the dates down below and the website where you can find us. George, out.